Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the deployment pipeline in Power BI service. So I am currently in my project workspace and this is a premium capacity workspace. So we are going to create a deployment pipeline for this workspace. So to create a deployment pipeline, you can directly go to the workspace and in the workspace, you can go to the top navigation and you can see this create deployment pipeline. So you can create the deployment pipeline from here or you can go to this three dot. There is a deployment pipeline option. So you can also go to this deployment pipeline and from here you can create a new pipeline. So before that, let me tell you why should we use the deployment pipeline. First of all, you should use a deployment pipeline if you want a dedicated environment for development, test and production. Suppose you have a development team where you want to develop your report and the development environment. And in the testing environment, we can uh, give access to all the testing team who is going to test the reports. And after the testing is complete, you can move it to production and share it with the required users. So it provides a dedicated environment for development, test and production. This is the first reason. The second reason would be if you want to track changes between development, test and production. So whatever the change will be there, it will show you the difference between the, those two workspaces. You can track the difference and, and you can publish the updated one to the test or production workspace. So it's very useful in case of version controlling. Third reason would be if you want to automate your task. Suppose if you are not using deployment pipeline, you will have to manually create three different workspaces and you will have to manage the reports in the three workspace manually. And this will be a time taking process as you will have to change the servers and parameters manually in different workspaces. This thing can be automated in deployment pipeline. So let me tell you how to do all these things. So let's move ahead and click on the new pipeline option. So I will click on new pipeline and here let's give the name of the pipeline. So I will give my project and description you can write anything let's click on next now uh, here you will have to customize your stages suppose if you want to keep only two environments like test and production you can do that or if you want to add another stage like sit and uat you can do that by adding the stages so i will choose only these three options and let's click on create it has created a pipeline and now it's asking me to choose a workspace to assign to this stage so we'll have to assign a workspace to the development stage so let's click on my project. So let's assign a workspace. If I click on show more, you will see I have the reports and semantic model that is in my workspace is showing here. And if I click on deploy, it will deploy all these uh, four reports and data sets. It will deploy to the next stage. So click on deploy. So it will take some time. So as you can see, uh, all the reports and semantic models has been deployed to test environment. A green tick mark is there and it's showing no changes were made to content since the last deployment so it's basically is helpful to track the changes between two workspaces if it is green tick mark that means there is no change between these two workspaces now you can see uh, these three options so let's see one by one what are these so this is stage settings so basically you can uh, change the name and description of the testing stage and also you can make this uh, stage public uh, so that can be seen by anyone the second one is deployment history. This will show you the deployments that you have done. It will uh, keep track of all the deployment history. Whatever you will deploy from development to test, you can track all those deployments here. And uh, the third one is the uh, deployment rules. So this is an important one. Suppose in a development environment, I have some reports which are using the data from the development environment. And while we move to the test environment, the data set and the server credentials needs to be changed to test credentials so in that case what we can do is suppose if i click on this adventure workspace so it's loading the rules so it is showing us data source rules and uh, the parameter rules is grayed out because we don't have any parameters in this uh, report so if you have any parameters you can change the parameters as well now let's click on the data source rule and let's click on add rule from here i can choose the database and server that are from the test environment so if you click here you can choose the server from the test environment uh, so if i click on other you can mention the database and the server from the test environment so from now when you are deploying from development to test environment you don't have to change the server and database settings manually it will automatically uh, take the test credentials and uh, update in the test environment i will also deploy the test to the production workspace so let's click on deploy now suppose i'm going to the development workspace and i am going to change something in one of the report let's see what changes are made in the deployment pipeline so let's click on this my project it will take us to the development workspace and from here uh, let's click on this highlight max and min value report 
and uh, I will click on edit so I am going to edit this report uh, let's remove this filter and click on save let's uh, refresh it so the change is made uh, let's go to this pipeline so it's comparing between the development and the test environment so it's showing a mismatch between uh, development and test environments it's saying changes were made to content since the last deployment and from here we can compare the data sets and report not equal to one means one content is not matching between the two workspaces. So let's see what is that content. Uh, this report highlight minimum and max, maximum report is not matching between the two workspaces. So what we can do is if you want to update the development report to test. So you can click on this report itself. One report is selected and uh, let's click on deploy. So let's click on deploy. So it will deploy only one report. And see it's saying now it's matching and now it's showing the mismatch between test and production so you can deploy again and uh, it has chosen this report let's deploy and the report is deployed and it is matching across all the three workspaces so this is the reason we use deployment pipeline one thing you need to remember is this deployment pipeline feature can only be used if you have workspace backed by premium capacity or if you have a premium per user license let me know in the comment if you're using this deployment pipeline feature in your project and make sure to hit the subscribe button if you like my content and want to be updated with my new content so till then goodbye and thanks for watching the video